Hey guys, it's Tamara Bennett with Southern Adornments Decor and I'm going to be painting a shabby chic baby door hanger. And this is a, it's actually going to hang this direction. I call this the faux palette sign because it looks like pieces of palette that have been nailed together, but it's really just one solid piece. But I'm going to show you how to take one solid piece like this and paint it to look like multiple boards that have been painted and nailed together. My camera's a little crooked and my OCD is getting the best of me. There we go. <laughs> so, um, as you can see, I did a palette background wall in my craft room for video backdrops. So, it's going to be somewhat similar to that, only we are going to have one, two, three, four, five planks that are going to be all one color. Um, it'll be, you know, each one will be a different color and they look, it's going to have like the um, faux look or fake look of palette wood. So, Hey Shelly, hey Kathy, y'all say hi as you come in. So um, this is quarter inch MDF and I had painted it all gray because I thought I was gonna just do like a gray palette wood and then we changed our minds. So hi Erica, hi Kathy, how are you guys? Thank you Lisa, I did the Diva Curl Curly Hair Method and this is leftover curls from like Thursday. I know that sounds crazy, but I haven't washed my hair since Thursday. I've just used some dry shampoo, applied just a little bit more of the Lust Color uh, Curl Cream, and it calmed the frizzies this morning so that we could get to church. But I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. <laughs> hey, Leanne. Hey, Layla. Hi, Gina and Shirley. Okay, so we've got this painted all gray. You don't necessarily have to paint it gray first, but I did just because I thought I was gonna do a gray palette wood look and then we changed our minds on the de design. So the colors I'm gonna be using, let me just tell you so I don't have to tell you again, are, let's see, we've got, these are, no, these are not all apple barrel. Three of these are apple barrel. Apple barrel granite gray, apple barrel laguna, and apple barrel key west. And then I've got this pink color by Deco Art Americana paint called Poodle Skirt Poodle, poodle skirt pink. If you only have apple barrel colors, this is pretty similar to, um, what's the color in apple barrel? It's called, hang on, it's coming to me. Starts with a C. Uh, crap, I can't think of the name of it. Cameo pink, cameo pink. I knew it would come to me eventually. Debbie said, is your wall painted to look like boards? It is actual painted boards, Debbie. These are palette boards that were taken apart off of a palette, painted, and then, um, attacked with industrial strength um, liquid nails. I can't think of words today. <laughs> You're so excited for doing the faux wood look. Okay, well, this is a very easy way to do this. I've done this before on Facebook Live, but it's probably been more than a year ago. And I've only ever, oh, well, I did it on a pumpkin back in the fall, but I've never done one like on a baby door hanger. So we're gonna start with the Key West. And first, I forgot to do this. We got to take a little yardstick or a ruler and I'm going to go ahead and draw my planks so that my lines are kind of straight. They don't have to be perfect, but you know, pretty close. So I'm drawing the lines to meet up the ends of the board so that I know where to start and stop my lines. I already did a couple of them before I started. So this is what how it's gonna hang, like this. But for video's sake, I'm gonna lay it this direction to paint it. I'm crazy throwing around brushes today. Y'all getting me excited. We got 192 of y'all on here. Is it because everybody's stuck at home with snow? Are you guys all snowed in? Can't ha can't do anything, so you're on here watching me paint? Uh, you guys also know that I usually sit down while I paint, but I thought for the sake of this video, um, I was going to stand up because it's much easier to do parts of this while standing. We may not get through the entire door hanger today. Uh, we may just show the shabby chic wood background look. And then I'll have to post a picture of it later finished because I promised my Painters Clubhouse group that we would do a live Q&A Zoom call at 3 o'clock Central. So I've only got an hour um, before I have to do that. So we probably won't be able to finish the door hanger on Facebook Live. We'll see. I don't know. Not to mention this is a gift for someone and I'm afraid, and they aren't getting it just yet. So I'm kind of afraid if I paint the baby's name on it and everything on Facebook Live, I might get into trouble. <laughs> So this is the Key West color, like I said, and you really don't have to get, you know, super excellent coverage. Like you can just get it mostly painted teal and it will be fine, especially if your background color is painted gray like mine is. So see, I've got that plank there covered. 
Hang on, let me pull up my video over here on the iPad because I'm struggling to see your comments very well and it might be easier on the iPad. There we go. Now I can see them even if they've like disappeared off the screen. Hi, Gina. You're watching me because I'm amazing. Oh, you're so sweet. Okay, so I'm going to do pink, darker teal, pink, light teal. So we're going to do this other plank in the light teal. It's sunny but still cold. Yeah, the sun has popped out here and the snow and ice is starting to melt off. We didn't get very much. We only got about an inch or two in my neck of the woods. So if you guys are still mulling over whether or not you're going to come to the Southern Adornments live show, I don't know if you guys have heard about it or not, but it's going to be in March, March 21st through the 23rd in Nashville, Tennessee. We have just 22 tickets left. That's it, 22. And the thing is, is that we could keep selling tickets up until the deadline uh, or up until the day that the event happens. But the problem is, is that we have a group room rate at the Hilton in Nashville, Tennessee. And the group room rate is only, that's, that's hard to say five times fast, it's only good until um, Tuesday. Tuesday is the day that it expires and you won't be able to get that room rate anymore. And then your room rate will go up by $40 a night. So if you're thinking about coming, you need to get your ticket now so that you can get your hotel room booked. And you don't have to pay for the hotel room up front. You can just give them a credit card to hold the room. That's how it works on the website. It says, um, what does it say? Book now, pay later, or something like that. So, if you've been thinking about coming, um, please don't wait any longer to get your tickets. Matter of fact, I'll put the ticket link right here in the comments. And those of you who are coming, I would love it if you would comment below that you're coming. Hey, Lisa. You love my wall. Thank you. Hi, Leanne from North Carolina. How are you? Leanne, speaking, I, I remember you were the one who painted that really cool rooster like this past spring or fall or sometime or another. And I had posted a picture of it on my Facebook page. Somebody commented underneath that photo wanting to buy one and I told them to contact you. I don't know if they did or not, but it wouldn't let me tag you in the post for whatever reason. So you may want to go back through my photos and look for the picture of your rooster and see who commented below and see if they want to order one from you. Anyways, like I was saying, if you haven't heard about the event, feel free to ask questions. It is a three-day event. We are going to be doing painting, crafting, and um, ta doing some beginner business workshops for those of you who think you might be interested in starting a business. And this is not one of those events where you'll have to like come and try to decide which um, workshops to go to. You'll get to do them all. So, thank you guys for sharing the video. Y'all are awesome. Yay, Debbie's coming and she's already got her room booked. Kay says, I plan to be there. Angie's coming. I can't wait to hang out with all of you guys. Beth's coming. Yay. Nancy, hey. I'm so excited. This is going to be like the most fun ever. Okay, so let me show you real quick what we got going on. So we're going to paint these two boards pink next. I think it would look cool left like this. Wouldn't that look like a cool like beachy looking sign? But this is for a baby girl's room, so we got to add some pink. Thank you, Heidi. I do too. Oh, thank you, Renee, for sharing. You're the best. Um, what was I saying? We were talking about the event, weren't we? So we're going to be painting uh, metal Easter basket, Easter buckets for to like hold eggs, and then we're also going to be painting some dried gourds. We're going to make them look like chickens. They're going to have paisleys on them. Um, we're also going to be doing a Easter door hanger and um, just some other fun little crafts. I hate to give it all away here on Facebook because I want to kind of like surprise some of the people that attend. I want it to kind of be like such a surprise when they get to see what all we're making. But we will be talking about starting a paint party business. And for those of you, if you're watching, if you're coming to the event, if you already have a paint party business up and going and you've been doing it for a little while and you have some wisdom to share, I would love it if you would message me and let me know because we are going to be doing a panel of, I won't say experts because we're not necessarily experts, but a panel of, of experienced paint party people who um, 
can answer during like a live Q&A session. So people at the event can ask questions and then we'll go down the line and get everybody's opinion on that question because not everybody does it the same way, y'all. Everybody, like we change it up and some of us do some things one way and some of us do things another way. So it's always fun to kind of hear how, all the different ways that people do things. Char's gonna be there, yay! I'm so excited. Yes, it's the Hilton Garden Inn. That is where it's gonna be. Uh, Jarena said, I wish I was, wasn't so scared. Girl, don't be scared to travel by yourself. It's gonna be okay. We've got lots of women coming by themselves. Matter of fact, those of you who are watching, if you are traveling alone and coming by yourself without a buddy, a sister, or a friend, comment below and let us know. Because I had somebody comment on one of my posts the other day saying they were scared to come by themselves. I don't want anybody to feel like that. I want it to be, um, I want you guys to feel like you're coming to hang out with friends, even though you haven't met these friends yet. Because there are so many sweet women who are going to be at this event who, um, would love to meet you and hang out with you and make friends. So don't feel like you're going to be alone. Matter of fact, if you feel that way, it would be in your best interest to comment and just kind of be vulnerable inside the uh, private group that we have for, of people who've already bought the ticket and say, hey guys, I'm a little scared. I'm coming to this by myself. Would anybody be my buddy while I'm there? That way you know so you've already got somebody to hang out with as soon as you arrive. We've even got people who are planning on sharing a ride from the airport together. And people who are rooming together who've ne who didn't even know their roommates before they get there, which is to me the best way to do it. I think that's just uh, so much fun. I've done that before at events, and I've made some of my best friends in business and online that way. Um, it's just an awesome way to get to know new people and to find somebody who can um, who you can message whenever you're struggling with your business and talk to them about it. Okay, this is what we got going on. How cute. Okay, I'm going to dry this, and then we're going to make it look shabby because right now it's a little too perfect. We need it to look kind of rustic and shabby chic and I got paint all over my hands. Leslie says I need the info with the link. Let me put it right down here. You can go over there and read. We've also got some guest presenters coming. You can go see who the guest presenters are and um, read more about it. No Allison I'm afraid the ticket does not include your room. It includes uh, lunch and snacks on Friday and all of our um, crafts that we're going to be doing. It's going to be a lot of hands-on stuff that you can take home with you at the end of the event. And so there's been a lot of expense put into preparations for this event and into the materials that we're going to be using at the event. So when we've got to buy materials for 150 women, that ain't cheap. <laughs> so that's why the ticket price uh, is what it is. Let's see. But really, I think that's a great deal considering you're going to be taking home six crafts that you make. And you're going to be attending some business workshops that will help you further your business or possibly even start a business, which can earn your money back pretty quickly. Hey, Deborah, Thank you. Okay, so we've got this dry. So next, we're going to kind of experiment here. I've got my handy dandy crappy Dollar Tree brush that has been with me for four years now. This thing started out as much prettier than this and it has slowly been worn down. So this is what I love to use when I do a dry brush technique to create like a shabby chic look. So I'm starting with the granite gray. I spread it out on this part of my egg carton in the long part here. And I'm just gonna dab my brush in it. Get just a little on my brush. And this is where standing up, up helps. And then you're going to start at one end and scrape all the way to the other end. And I'm starting with this light gray, and then we might add some darker gray on top of it. I just didn't want to start too dark and then wish I'd gone lighter. It shows up really good on top of that dark teal. But we're just going to layer on some paint in this dry brush technique. If you feel like you got too much on your brush, you can always blot it off on a paper towel. And if you're scared to do this and scared to kind of like put too much, test it out on like a piece of cardboard first and just see how, you know, heavy it goes on. I've done this enough and for so many years that it doesn't really intimidate me very much. And so I just go for it. Okay, so let me show you what we've got with just the light gray layered on. Isn't that cool? 
I really love the way it looks on this teal color. Okay, so now let's add a little bit of dark gray. Um, are you furnishing brushes, paint? Yes, we are furnishing all of the brushes and the paint and stuff. And let me tell you, whatever we got left over at the end is going home with you guys. So if we have a bunch of bottles of paint left over, you guys will be getting to take it all home. And all of the brushes that you get at the event are gonna be yours to keep. So no need to bring any brushes or anything like that from home. The only thing you might uh, might be helpful if you brought from home is if, not everybody, but if a few of you brought like a hair dryer so that we could use those to dry things, that might be helpful. But we don't need 150 hair dryers, just a few. Which, you know, we'll be staying in the hotel and the hotel is where the event's gonna be held. So if we realize we don't have enough, some of you could possibly run back up to your room quickly and grab another hair dryer. Not a big deal. But we are going to be teaching you some really cool techniques that you can use, not just on door hangers, but on any kind of painted craft. <clears throat> but I'm especially excited about seeing how you guys use these techniques on door hangers moving forward, because I think it's really going to change the game when it comes to door hangers and make it to where you guys can charge more for these. Okay, so this is what it looks like with the pewter gray on it. So it's just a little more shabby. Let's do some white now. Let me read your comments so I get caught up. Found me online and then found out you were related to my niece's husband. Jody Kelso, yep, he is my cousin. That's awesome, it is a small world. Oh, I didn't get any white paint, hang on. Where is it? <clears throat> Here we go. You need to invent a reusable egg carton. Uh, well, Sharon, I kinda like the fact that these aren't reusable and I can just toss them at the end. I don't have to clean up after myself. I like being able to just throw them away. Is this cutout available in template form? Yes, Brandy. It is called the Faux, F-A-U-X, palette sign. Faux palette sign. So if you go over to my website, southernadornmentsdecor.com, and search in the shop, uh, there's like a little search bar at the top of the website. You just type that in, type in Faux palette sign. You will find the template and the blank for this if any of you guys want to create one of these yourself. All of my templates are $5 each, so you can create, you know, oodles and oodles of these with just one template. Okay, I'm brushing on some white, and this kind of lightens and brightens it up a little bit because it was looking a little bit drab without the white. And for a baby girl door hanger, we want this to be uh, happy and bright. So I'm adding lots of white on top of here. And if you guys go over to my Instagram, how many of you guys are on Instagram? If you go over to my Instagram and follow me and check out my Instagram story, I showed a time-lapse video of how I drew this on the iPad Pro using the Procreate uh, app. So I kind of like drew it ahead of time on my iPad so that I could kind of gauge how it was going to look and I could practice before I painted it. So here it is with the white. How much better? Isn't that so pretty? But we're not done. Okay. So next, the key to making these really look like real faux palette boards is to get a round tip brush. Let me find one that's about the right size. This one is a crafter's choice size six. So if that gives you some idea, there it is against my finger. It's got a nice full bodied um, brush bristles, whatever you call that. But anyways, it's gonna hold lots of paint. That's the point. Um, JC said, would you make one of these for my sassy girl's wall? JC, send me a message after the video is over. I am selling painted door hangers again. For a little while there, I had stopped because I was just like so overwhelmed with so many things. But um, we are selling painted door hangers again. So if anybody needs to order one like this for somebody, just send me a message and I'll get you a link. Um, do we need to bring a notepad for the business part? That might be a good idea, Lynn. Good idea. Um, let me see if I missed any other questions. I think I already answered that. Dana, it's the Pro Create app. Okay, so if you noticed, I turned this this away. The reason I did that is because I have a hard time drawing a straight line this way. I have a much easier time drawing a straight line when I'm pulling the brush toward my body. So I've gotten just a little bit of the pewter gray color on my brush. I'm gonna start right up here at the top, not where the crack is, where the boards meet, but very at the very, very top. And I'm just gonna kind of lightly do this feathery brush stroke all the way down this plank. We're gonna do this with the gray and the white and possibly even the light gray. The reason we're doing it with three different colors is it kind of creates almost like a faux three-dimensional look. 
and we want these boards to be look like they're a little bit shadowed and separated like there's a crack in between them so by doing this dark gray line with a little bit of white and lighter gray it's going to create sort of a a faux shadow it's going to make it look like multiple boards so I'm not doing a perfect line. As you see, I'm doing little brush strokes. It's kind of feathering it on there so that it's not a perfect line. And it's not perfectly, um, you know, palette boards aren't perfect. All of these are kind of bumpy along the edges and they're not perfectly straight. So it helps if you do it not so perfect. So we've created a little bit of a darker shadow between the lines. Um, let's see. JC said you did her the hospital door hanger and we've tried to do our own, but it's not. well, send me a message, JC. I'd, I'd love to help you. Okay, now I'm gonna switch to the light gray, the granite gray, and do the same thing. And I'm trying not to go exactly on top of the other line I did. I'm going kind of beside it and next to it and just all down through there. And you can barely see it, but it's just enough to kind of create a little bit more depth. How many of you guys are thinking about going to the event, but you haven't purchased your ticket yet? I would love to answer your questions, maybe put your mind at ease or help you figure out the solution to your problem if you've got a problem with coming. So um, comment, your, comment below and let me know if you're wanting to come, but maybe you can't or you're not sure if you can come. Lisa said, are there any rooms left for Wednesday night? Yes, our event planner, Joni, was able to secure some extra rooms for Wednesday night in case anybody wants to come up the night before. Um, I'm putting the link in here again to get tickets just in case anybody missed it earlier. <coughs> so we do have tickets available. Uh, most of the people are only staying, now I'm switching to white, sorry. Uh, most of the people are only staying on Thursday and Friday night because the event begins on Thursday at 1 p.m. So you could drive up the morning of if you needed to. And then it will end on Saturday at noon. So you could turn around and drive home on Saturday or fly home or whatever. There are a few people coming up Wednesday night. And I think they've all got plans to go out to dinner together in Nashville downtown. So if you do... I just flicked paint on the wall. If you do come up early on Wednesday night, you can hang out with the girls and go out to dinner. How much are the tickets? Deanna, the tickets are $250 plus tax. And that covers, uh, like I said, all the crafts that we're going to be doing and uh, the workshops and lunch on Thursday and snacks. So this is what it looks like with the shabby chic palette wood. How cool would this be done in like this many colors? be kind of like a cool like carnival look. I think it would just be awesome. Okay. Looks like you guys are working out plans, Carla. <laughs> Thank you for messaging her. Okay, I'm gonna dry this real quick and then we're gonna put a circle in the middle. We do only have 22 tickets left, that's it. 22 tickets. So if you're going to get one, get it quick. Okay, this is my nasty, handy-dandy pizza pan. This thing once upon a time was silver, but you know what? It cooks even better. How many of you guys have a pan at home like this that cooks better when it looks all gross and you can't really wash all this off? Like it, it kind of builds up over time and it just doesn't come off very easily. So I'm going to set this down right in the middle of this because this is a perfect size circle that I needed. And I'm going to get a pencil. It's almost like you don't even have to use cooking spray after a little while because it's built up such a, uh, what do you call that? On a, Like a cast iron skillet? It's called something. I can't think of the word. Seasoned. It's seasoned. That's the word I was looking for. Okay, so I just traced it with a pencil. And then we're going to paint inside here white. Which I know it probably feels like you were probably like, oh, we just did all that work and now we're going to fill it in. Yes, yes, yes. But the, the background is not the star of the show. The baby's name has to be the star of the show. So, just going to get some white here. And we're going to fill in the center with white. This is a flat tip brush size 12 by Royal and Lang Nickel. 
I really like using flat tipped brushes if I have to like keep a nice smooth line around a curved edge like this. I just think it does a great job. <laughs> Thank you, Sally seasoned and Debbie said seasoned. I couldn't think of that word. I'm like, I don't know what I was trying to think of. I got all mixed up, but we've already established the fact that I can't think of words right now because earlier in the video, I was having a hard time thinking of something. Tennessee or Kentucky tax? It's Tennessee tax, Kim. Sorry it took me so long to answer your question. I almost didn't see it. It's Tennessee tax. Since the event's held in Tennessee, we have to charge Tennessee tax. Wah, wah. Hey, Dolores from Texas. Thank you so much. Leslie said, I live less than an hour away from Nashville, so I can drive just back and forth for, to this event. Yes, ma'am, you can without staying at the hotel. Absolutely, you don't have to stay at the hotel. You can drive back and forth. Matter of fact, we've probably got some women watching who are like, hey, I'll come stay with you. <laughs> That's a whole nother level of friendship, inviting strangers to come stay at your home. But you know what? We've had ladies in the Painters Clubhouse lately who've been traveling across the state to go see each other and paint together. How awesome is that? They're building such a sisterhood together that they are traveling to go hang out with each other on the weekends and paint together. And I'm so jealous because I'm like, man, I want to go. But I live all the way up here in Kentucky and these ladies were down in Alabama. It'd be quite a bit farther for me. <clears throat> Speaking of traveling... Tomorrow, my husband and I are leaving for New Orleans. So if you live in the New Orleans area, I would love for you to come and see me Monday night. Um, I can't remember the location because I'm not the one who planned it. But I'm getting together with my mastermind group with Damon Oates. And Monday night, he has planned a meet and greet with all of us. It's going to be a bunch of online crafters getting together and meeting with you guys. So. If you need details about that event, go to my Facebook page. You know how they have the little tabs at the top? Click on the tab that says events, and it's the very first event listed. It's a meet and greet, I believe at a seafood restaurant down in New Orleans, Monday night. And it's going to be, Damon Oates will be there, Brooke Riley from Refab will be there, Julie Samako from Southern Charmed Reefs, Reefs? I said Reefs with an F, <laughs> Reefs. Uh, Damon Oates will be there. Um, Carrie from Hot Mesh Mom. Uh, who else? Betty from Shore, Li Shore Life Creations. Joni, my event planner from Bell Chase Wreaths. Um, Stoney and Michelle, you guys saw them making bows on my page the other day. They're actually going to be at the Nashville event teaching bow making in March. Uh, they Their Facebook page is called Wilds Creek. They're going to be at the meet and greet. Um, Tammy Holes from Flippin' Furniture will be there. I don't know if any of you guys know any of these folks, but if you do, I would love it if you commented below if you're a follower of them. Laura, you're only an hour from NOLA. Well, come see us Monday night. or Mon I say Monday night like that's a far, long way away. That's tomorrow night. Tomorrow night in NOLA. We'll be there. So go to my Facebook page, click on the events tab, and then it's the very first event listed. If you can't find it, just private message me and I'll send you the link. <clears throat> okay, so we've got this all painted white. And then we're going to do a cute little border around the circle. But I can't paint the baby's name on there just yet because I don't want the customer to accidentally see it on Facebook Live. Okay, let's try this. You're in northern Louisiana. Oh, bummer. Candace, you're only 40 minutes from Nashville. You should totally come. Christy's from South Central Kentucky. You can come to the Nashville event. You're within driving distance for sure. It's going to be March 21st to the 23rd in Nashville, Tennessee. I'm going to put the link in here again just in case anybody missed it. We have 22 tickets left. And if you buy a ticket, we need to um, get your hotel room booked no later than Tuesday. Otherwise, the price per night goes up by $40 a night. Um, our room rate is only good until Tuesday. Daisy's only 30 minutes from NOLA. Angela's only 30, 45 minutes. Girls, y'all all need to get together and come see me Monday night. That would be so fun. Whew, that 
hot hair dryer is making me hot. All right, so now I'm gonna take this pewter gray color and we're gonna do a border around the outside <clears throat> that's gonna be kind of like a scallop. So let me get this round tip brush again. Deborah, you watch Brooke? I just love Brooke. She only actually lives about, um, and so does Elizabeth, only about 20 minutes from me, just like 20 minutes down the road from me. And uh, she and I are in the same mastermind group with Damon Oates, and so we'll both be at the meet and greet Monday night. She definitely sounds a lot more Kentucky than I do, like a lot more Southern, her Southern accent runs deep. I thought I had a Southern accent, but that Brooke, she's got the best Southern accent. I could listen to her talk all day, and I'm Southern too. So we're just first off starting to paint like a, like just a like frame around this circle. And I'm using that size six round tip brush again. And this kind of works like doing the straight lines. I have to pull the brush toward me to get it nice and smooth and make it look good. I feel like I've been talking 90 miles an hour. Y'all need to tell me to slow down. I do only have like 10 more minutes or so before I'm gonna have to get off here. Um, at three o'clock central, I've got to get on Zoom with my Painters Clubhouse group. We're doing a live Q&A session. If you guys have been thinking about joining Painters Clubhouse, but maybe um, haven't gotten to do that yet, it will be reopening March 28th after the event, March 28th. Wow, you guys, we've got 400 people on here. Thank you so much for sharing. Y'all must be sharing or we wouldn't have this many. You like Damon and Brooke? Yay! You love watching Brooke. Brooke's the best. I'm not left-handed, Beth. It's because we're um, in selfie mode. Hey, Mom, how are you? <laughs> Jan is my mom, just in case y'all wondered. And she's down in um, uh, Florida for the winter, so she's missing me. And whenever she gets on here and starts watching me while I'm doing Facebook Live, it's like she gets to spend some time with me. <laughs> with Whipper Will Wreaths is not too far from Nashville, Northeast Alabama. Girl, you need to come. Go get you a ticket. SouthernAdornmentsDecor.com forward slash live event. Okay, so now I'm just going to create a cute little scalloped pattern around this. And you could trace something if you wanted to, but um, I just don't feel like doing that. So I'm just going to draw these cute little loop scallops all the way around. It's kind of like a half circle. And then I'm going to fill them in. I need a Lazy Susan up here to rotate this thing around so many times. Uh, let's see. Do we have to do anything to log into the Zoom call? Erica, go over to the Painters Clubhouse and go to the event section of the group. And there's an event created for it, and in the event description is the Zoom call link. That will begin at 3 o'clock, so in about 30 minutes. I need to get a fan up in here. I'm hot all of a sudden. I've been cold all morning. And after using that hair dryer and talking, I get all excited. And my blood starts to boil. Yes, Brooke is refabbed. Am I saying your name right? Is it Carrie Gustafson? Or is it Kari? I want to say Kari for whatever reason, but I think it's Carrie. Carrie's going to be there. Hot Mesh Mom. Isn't that your page? Sheila, I'm located uh, in, near Benton, Kentucky. That's where I am. Okay, now I'm going to switch to a round tipped brush. This one is a size 10. Or, no, sorry, not round tipped. Filbert tip. And um, just fill these little things in. It may take more than one coat to get it to cover real well. What's the name of the hotel? It is the Hilton Garden Inn. And right now our group room rate is $149 a night. Um, but if you wait until after Tuesday to book, it's going to go up to $189 a night. So... I definitely recommend you go ahead and book your hotel room now and not wait. Uh, you have to have our special link in order to get the hotel room. So after you buy your ticket, we'll send you that link so that you can go and book your hotel room. <clears throat> we also have people who um, 
are doing roommate roommates. So before you book your room, if you're wanting a roommate, check and see if somebody inside the private group needs a roommate. And y'all can work out details instead of both of you booking a room. And y'all could split it. Save you a lot of money. Leslie said, I'm about an hour south of Nashville. Send me the website link. I will, uh, Leslie, I'm going to put it down here in the comments. There you go. I would love for you to come. We're um, going to be doing three days of crafting and painting and um, learning new skills. And then we're also going to be doing some door, uh, bit beginner business workshops. For those of you who are interested in starting a business or growing a business that you already have, we'll be doing some things that will help you with that. So, you know, if you have a business that actually counts as a tax write-off, you can also count your hotel room and your meals and everything as a tax write-off on these type of events. Okay, how cute is this? I just love how shabby chic it is. Uh, let's see. Sheila says, so you're an hour and a half west of me. You're west of Hopkinsville. Yes, yes. You're a Damonite also. Awesome. I'm going to go ahead and paint a second coat on these real quick. Yep, you're not very far from me. Hopkinsville is about a little over an hour's drive from here. Hey, Clara. How are you? We've just been talking about my event in Nashville. We've got a few tickets left, so we're trying to get people to hurry up and buy before we lose our group room rate. The cost of the room goes up $40 a night after Tuesday, so if they don't hurry up and get their ticket and get their hotel room locked in, they may be paying more, and I hate, to, hate for anybody to have to pay more. Sherry is from Danville. I've heard of Danville. I don't think I've ever actually been there. <laughs> I just love how you guys are all talking to each other in the comments. Y'all just keep it up. Keep talking to each other. I enjoy it. I'm going to add a little bit of a white highlight to each of these little scallops in a minute too. So I usually draw my hand lettering out with a pencil and then paint over it, but I'm thinking about using chalk. The only problem is, is that if I use white chalk, it's not gonna show up on here. So have any of you guys used a colored chalk before? Cause I think I might have some green chalk. Oh man, I might have to touch that up. I think I've got some green chalk or blue I could use. That would be really cute. So this is how it will hang and it will have the baby's name right here in the middle. Um, it's a three name, three names, first, middle, and last. Let me touch this up. <laughs> My nails match the paint. Yes, they do, Caitlin. I love that color. You're from Texas, Melissa. Uh, Corey says, is this gonna be an annual thing? You wanna plan to go next year? Um, yes, Car Corey, we're planning on making this an annual thing. It might not always be in Nashville, though. I don't know. I've kind of been mulling around the idea of possibly doing one in Texas sometime. I don't know. So, we'll see. Because I do have a lot of followers down in Texas. So, I know you guys would probably really like that. <laughs> Clara says I say names how I want. Kari, Kara, Keely. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> hey, Pamela from Lawrenceburg. Okay, Carol says, I missed the first part of the video. What conference are you talking about? It's the Southern Adornments Live Show. It's going to be in March in Nashville, Tennessee, March 21st to the 23rd. It's a three-day crafting and beginner business workshop. We're going to be painting door hangers. We're going to be painting um, dried gourds, uh, picture frames. What else are we doing? Uh, metal buckets, like little metal. I thought I had one sitting here. Little metal Easter buckets. Um and we're going to be learning how to make bows. We're going to be learning all kinds of, uh, at least three new techniques that you could use on your door hangers to kind of boost them up a little bit. So if you've kind of been stuck with your door hanger making and you need something to kind of like 
help you get out of a rut and maybe help you charge more for your door hangers, these three techniques that we're going to be teaching you at the event will definitely help you do that. So I'm so excited to show that to you guys. Megan says, do one in Myrtle Beach closer to me. Oh, that would be nice down by, we do need to do one by a beach. That would be fun. Hi, Talisha. First time seeing me live. You found me on YouTube. That's cool. Is it weird watching me on YouTube because I'm talking to everybody as if um, I'm still on Facebook Live, but I just download the video and put it on YouTube? I wondered if that's weird for people. I don't really care. I'm going to keep doing it. So, <laughs> uh, Carrie Lynn says, stay with Nashville. Uh, I might, I don't know. Nashville's only two hours from me, so it is easier for me to do it in Nashville because I'm more comfortable with the area. Debbie, I'm from Benton, Kentucky, Murray, Kentucky, somewhere around in there. I'm like right in the middle of Benton and Murray. So sometimes I say I'm from Benton because I have a Benton address, but sometimes I say I'm from Murray because that's where I do all my shopping and that's where I grew up. So, all right, well, I'm going to go because I've got to be with my Painters Clubhouse gals in just a few minutes. If you haven't joined Painters Clubhouse yet and you want to, you can go to paintersclubhouse.com and get on the wait list, and we will send you a reminder when the group opens up on March 28th. And then if you haven't gotten your ticket to the live event, I'm gonna put that in here also. We only have 22 tickets left, so don't wait much longer. Um, <laughs> good, Chastity, thank you, I appreciate that. So, go get your ticket to the event and book your hotel room. You can book now and pay later, so no worries. But after you get your ticket, check your email. I will send you a link to go and get your hotel room booked. But we only have until Tuesday, and then we lose our group room rate. So hurry up and get it. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Oh, sorry, Amber. I, I can't reach the button. I can't do the name just yet because I don't want the person who is getting the baby door hanger to know it's theirs. It's a secret.